Hello guys, this is Alf from Open Source Channel. Welcome. This is a new episode. Today we're going to talk about web design again. We're going to make it easy today for you to create websites with a new website called Strikingly. It's a very simple, easy to use, all in one solution, and you can get started for free if you wanted to, and then pay and upgrade as you need it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell icon so you get notified. This will help me with the algorithm with YouTube, and you know, we can actually go faster with your help. So let's go back and let's have a look at some of the prices and some information about Strikingly. Here we go. Now we are back on the actual main page. As you can see how easy it is to modify part of the website. Let's go to the menu and let's go and click on the pricing. This is the most important part. I'm sure that's what you're really interested in. As you can see, you can pay monthly, you can pay yearly, two years, three years and five years. Logically, the price changes based on the amount of time you want to subscribe with them. They do have a free version, free plan forever and you get a limited starter plan and you go custom emails as you can see that you can pay $25 per year. That's up to you as you want to start. But yes, just go there for free, subscribe, see if you like it and if you need more, of course, you get the premium options, okay? This is very simple and you will see now in a few minutes how easy it is to create websites. And so now I am on my dashboard. I'm going to go to my account. So you can see from your account, you get some options. You can edit the profile, change the plan, edit email settings, view account usage, so on and so forth. Let's go back. There is nothing there because it is a brand new uh, account. We go back to the strictly main page. And from here, you can actually start with your site. You can create a new site. You can attach domains. You can actually uh, set up your emails if you want to. And don't forget, this one comes with two systems. One is the iOS um, and, of course, Android as well. This one is the Android and this is the iOS app that will help you to build your website, help and maintain your website. So that's all included in the actual package. Here you can actually turn your Facebook page into a free website as well. So this is a great feature. Don't, you know, you know, just use it. It's a fantastic way of doing it. Maybe I will do another tutorial in the future that I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Here you can find a knowledge base, all the information how to get started, video tutorials that, you know, you can find it from their knowledge base and of course as well on the YouTube channel that they have as well. Don't forget all the links in the description below. So you don't need to write down anything. All right, so let's go back to the dashboard. And here we got, for example, the Discover panel. Uh, from there, you got to go to, let's go back here a second. So I can actually show you the actual main dashboard. You got my sites, you got the domains. If you attach any domains, you can transfer the domains. That's up to you. You go emails if you want to register the um, email with the actual domain that you have transferred or registered with. And here you got the site audience and technically this is the uh, analytics for the website okay so you got the full audience you got the forms the live chat the customers just in case you got uh, people who can actually uh, register with your website you got the bookings there's a lot of things you can actually do with this believe it or not with it with strictly it's amazing what you can actually do you can, it's a full cms it's very very simplified all right so let's go back to discover this here ways you can find all the templates that are already made and if you like anything all you do just import as usual and edit with your own information all right so what we're going to do now we're going to have a look at a couple of templates how would they look on the actual screen and then we're going to choose one template and we start to modify it i'm not going to go to you know in full details but i'm going to show you the basics of the actual system the way it works so let's go and choose the first template so we can actually have a look how it looks let's go and click on view the site this is the first template view site templates as you can see on the right side and this is how it looks on the actual screen again you can actually choose this template if you want to start to modify it it's a very simple you know html websites but they have a cms on, on back of the actual system so as you can see here now we actually preview the actual template this one here where you can actually preview it, create a site with the templates and you can actually look uh, the way it looks on a desktop, tablet and mobile as well. Just like any other website, it contains uh, contact forms and many other 
plugins that you, everything is comp, you know comprised on the same application so this is the tablet this is the mobile phone and it's very responsive as you can see here you get this uh, I'm not sure if it's that when you have a free website I'm not sure I got the VIP VIP plan but uh, I think that is actually shows when you have the free version so what I done here I just create a new website and I'm gonna select the templates to get started I'm gonna choose the Mediterranean one and I'm going to view the example first and this is what the actual website looks like I open it in a totally different tab so you can actually see without uh, top uh, bar for example as you can see it's very simple and over here you can actually even book a table if you need to you can make a reservation and so on all right also you got uh, social media icons everything is inclusive in the actual price if you buy the VIP or any other ones really there are some differences that you can actually have a look on the uh, website so I'm up with this one let's go back and I'm going to start edit the actual website with my own information here we go these these actual uh, edit uh, tabs or dashboard for example it comes with a little tour if you need to you know to know a little bit what is what uh, you can take the tour or you can say no tags that's up to you I'm going to click on the actual tour but what it does really it goes all around the sections and it gives you a brief explanation of where it is all right so you just go next next until you up it with the you know what you got here it's just brief it doesn't really take long only a few uh instance really so now we get it started now as you can see you got the layout you can get help if you need help to build don't forget this comes with 24 7 help if you have a uh one of the subscriptions all right now this is the actual layout you got the section of the layout on the left side you can add and delete the section you got the styles you got the stores you got the audience and the settings on the website logically you start with the actual settings where you can actually attach your domain again if you don't have one you can register the new one and also you got the mystrackly.com url just in case you don't want to attach the domain yet and you want to you know play with it and see how it is this is how it actually comes you can update at any time and you can actually view the actual domain on a different tab if you want to once you publish it it will be visible on that particular uh, URL okay so you go the site title you can actually attach a category for it and you can actually write a site description as well you got the language for the actual website you can actually attach a favicon and the social share image if you want to and you can actually enable Twitter card as well within the display of on the on the website don't forget every step to save your information otherwise you will lose it you can accept payments if you run e-commerce is a for example you can choose the currency and then you got four different type of payments you can have offline square PayPal and stripe don't forget you need to attach to PayPal or Stripe if you want it, you know, if you want to uh, do it in that way, right? So you get redirected to PayPal, for example, you add your email and information and automatically it comes like this because logically this is without um, my details. Otherwise, it will go straight to your account and all you got to do is just add email and password and it will automatically attach the offline payments also have the information on how to do that Stripe is exactly the same as PayPal all right and of course you go square as well I'm not that used to to square so I'm not going to go much in details but they do have a good system like PayPal you can accept payments as well and it looks pretty good perhaps in the future I'm gonna have a look at that myself uh, you never know you learn a lot we got email notifications then you get from the name from the email address and logically you can actually attach a physical address if you want to Mo mobile actions you can have add buttons for example uh, you can actually do whatever this is quite interesting you can actually attach each button on the main button say for example this one is for iOS and you can actually attach what you wanted to do because of the app you can actually change the website to app as well and it's very simple to do that as well with um, Stringly right so here you can actually customize your header and footer you can have a multiple page if you want to activate that you need to have the pro version as you can see there on top it's not free otherwise you can have a single page for that 
uh, without going to the pro and here you can actually add custom code to the header and footer of the website again more information will be on the knowledge uh, base website here you got the site search you can enable and disable it here you can actually enable again or hide uh, the website from search engine enable uh, enable or disable the privacy legal pages you can add your terms and condition and privacy policy term again you can have the european union cookie notification and the gdpr as well if you need that to show it then we have services where you can actually attach your google Anal analytics trackers you can actually verify google webmaster tools f uh, facebook pixel id and also you can have more uh, about the text ads text as well more information again don't forget guys in the description below here you got the membership for example the, the free membership you can have a paid subscription for people for example if they want to uh, subscribe to your system and you also have the email auto automation to send and receive emails to customers all right this is very simple again this is not a full tutorial on how to use all uh, the features of this system but if you need more information let me know and I'll see what I can do for you again you can actually add um, teams you can have analytic analytics you can do a uh, storage if you want to add an e-commerce to your web pages again I believe this one comes for if you have VIP or pro version not for the free one but I'm not 100% sure about that so now let's go and start to edit the page very simple things here I'm going to show you I'm not going to show you the first you know blown out to build a website with strictly but I'm going to show you how just how easy it is to just change text and images if you need to you can actually add the buttons as well here as well you can change part of the menu and it's very simple just drag and drop and click and edit really and I can see now we're changing that to Italian food I'm gonna go to bold maybe let's let's do this and let's make it bigger there we go we can choose edit for example edit one edit two that's up to you which one looks best for your uh, logo the way you want to do it you can do book a table for example or change the text and you can actually attach to for example to a URL if you want to don't forget all the time to save it otherwise it will not work all right now if you have a e-commerce attached that's very simple and through the actual um, drop down where it says web you can actually attach to a specific for example item or product or service you want here you can actually add buttons uh, for app stores for example if you wanted to add for example uh, application on ios for example android that's up to you everything is already there very easy to use anyway guys as you can see you can move stuff from left to right if you're already you know knowledgeable about the way uh, element works this is something similar and it's very simple to use anyway so you can drag and drop images like anything else like any edit uh, web edit page for example so you can go back again you go multiple undo and redo just in case you make a mistake you want to go back and also you got uh, i believe that is pixabay so every images of pixabay can be searched and added through this little widget on the right side of the page editing all right and you can actually add text as i said remove text is up to you you can actually add color image videos again everything from pixabay all right so now let's go and have a look inside the styles here you can change part of the templates there are drop uh, drag and drop uh, modules already being created and all stylized it's kind of a mobilize on steroids here it's mobilized that on a cloud so very simple you go different sections you go fonts you go exactly other navigations you got uh, buttons and everything is done for you already pre-made again you can actually change them as well you can do the color scheme you just click and change the colors if you want to you can change the i think that actually change for the entire website not rather just one particular um button for example so if you change the bottom of a, a color of the button it will, if you go multiple pages they will change automatically all you know all the buttons will change with that color 
if I make sense. And as you can see, the actual color scheme are there. You can choose your own and you can make your own custom ones. Here you can change the way the grid works. You can have one by one, uh, five, uh, four by four or two by four. It's up to you how you want to change the actual layout of the grid. Again, everything is very self-explanatory. If you need any help, the knowledge base is there for you. And you can actually create a new section. As you can see, I'm creating two sections, title text. And all you do is just click at the button, really. It's not nothing difficult here. And, of course, you can actually drag and change the position if you want to. And you can change and add items as you wish from the list from the, on the left. And again, all the sections, as you can see, they're there for you to change. And again, you can actually drag and drop. Uh, you can click and it will automatically take you there. For example, as you can see, even that button changed the color like the one on top of the reservation. So what we're going to do now, we're going to preview it. And let's have a look how it looks on the main page here. All right. So this is just the preview, as you can see, on top left. You can see the preview that we changed the uh, the logo name and also you change the color of the actual um, buttons. Okay, so let's go back here and what we're gonna do? Let's have a look. Anyway, you got more options here. You can duplicate, you can rename and hide the section if you want to. Again, all you gotta do just click inside just in case you wanna change the text. Anyway, that's how simple it is. All right, so now, before I'm going to finish this i'm going to show you how you actually add the actual product there as well and as you can see you can actually add products one by one if you want to and it works like you know any e-commerce and as you can see you got a contact it, everything is automatically done even even like webflow i don't know if you use a web webflow before it's very simple and it attaches for example uh, you can get bookings and you can attach your paypal as i said earlier on and you can add the section that is already pre-made for a single uh, product or single booking systems and everything is done for you already so that's how simple it is you don't have to know how to code you don't have to do anything here you can find all the sections that you can actually drag and drop that pre-made products are easy to you know to uh, to add and Again, guys, any issues you have, again, this is not a full tutorial. This is more kind of a showing up that you can actually use this service because I think it's pretty good. And what I'm going to do now, as you can see, I'm pretty the actual website that I created live. So once you publish it, it will be available, as you can see, on this domain. This is the free one. All right. So if you want to attach domain, you've got to choose or buy a new domain. So that's how simple it is to publish with Strictly. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, review rather than tutorial. As I said, this is not a tutorial, but a review of this fantastic cloud-based web design software. Again, guys, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did showing you about this. And I'll see you next time. And don't forget to like and share the videos too. So you can help me with the algorithm with YouTube. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.